At first glance, it may seem that there is no logic to the settlement itself, but this is far from true. Three main roads can be appreciated in this sector. One of these is on the right, coming from the entrance door in the outside wall. The second one is right in front of you, perpendicular to the first one. And the third one circles the village running parallel to the outside wall. It provides access to the north side of the village. It is often incorrectly believed that all these buildings were houses, but this is not the case. If you now walk to the reconstructed house, you will be able to appreciate how it differs from the other buildings. Please do not walk on the walls to ensure their conservation. A Castro house has three distinctive traits, the hall, the oven and the lareira, meaning the cooker. As you enter the hall, you will see the oven on your right. If you now enter the house in the centre, you will find the lareira, which is the most important part of the house. It was used for cooking but also for heating and lighting up the house. It even served another clever purpose. It was used as a method for conserving the hay bone dry over the wet winter months. The Lareda is composed of various stone slabs protecting the fire from the wind that would have blown in through the door. These holes in the stone are actually a result of a misinterpretation during the reconstruction. They were drilled in to fit a wood pole to support the roof, which, of course, would have burnt if it were to be positioned there. However, two poles were inserted in the stones between the cooker and the door to create a structure to hang pots on the fire. This window is also a reconstruction mistake because, according to excavation findings, it probably did not exist. To preserve the heat, stucco was applied to the inner and outer walls of the house. The stucco was then painted white, red and blue to decorate the building. So, we should picture a multicolour village, very different from what you see today. They slept on the ground floor or on an upper deck made of wood, like the one you can observe here or maybe larger. It's hard to know exactly how many people lived in a house of this size, but probably around four or five. On the other side of the road, there is another reconstructed house where we can appreciate another object that may have been in the house, the Banco Corrido long bench. You may exit the building now. The next audio guide spot is located on the right by the wall entrance. <laughs> 